Number 37. Complete and balance each of the following half reactions, which is steps two to five in the half reaction method. And we have letter G here. So in this case, we have to balance MnO4 minus, and that's aqueous, and that will yield into just Mn2 plus, and that's aqueous. And we have to balance this in acidic conditions or acidic solutions. So what I did for you guys is I wrote down all of the steps, the full-blown how to balance in any acidic solution um, from start to finish if we had a full redox reaction. However, since in this case we're only given half reactions, we only have to do a couple of these steps. But I just wanted to give you the whole scheme just so that you guys can write it down. Now, we don't have to do the first step. The first step is to break your equation into a half reaction. But since they told us that we're already in a half reaction, we don't have to do number one. And just know, guys, memorize these steps. It's a very systematic approach. Um, it will make this type of balancing so much easier if you kind of just go with the flow and do the steps in order. Okay, so now let's get down to it. Let's do the second thing. The second thing that you have to do is now you have to balance all elements except for hydrogen and except oxygen. So I'm not even going to look at this oxygen yet. I'm not balancing it. I'm going to balance all the other elements. So let's see. I have an Mn, manganese, on my left side, and I have a manganese on my right side. How many of each do I have? I have one on my left. I got one on my right. So they're balanced already. So I, I checked to see if I could do this step. It's already balanced for me. So I'm just going to skip over it. Now we go to step three. I'm flying through this. We're going to balance the oxygen next. Oxygen comes first and then comes hydrogen. Just be careful of that. So oxygen comes first, and we're going to balance it by adding H2O. The, the, the easiest thing to know here is that if you need to add one oxygen, you're going to add it in the form of one H2O. So if you need to add two oxygens, you're going to add two H2Os. If you need three oxygens, you're going to add three H2Os. Let's see what we got here. Now I'm going to look at this oxygen. I have four of them. I have four on my reactant side, the left side. I got no oxygens on my product. So I'm going to have to add the oxygen. How many oxygens do I need to add? Yeah, right, four. I have four on the left, so I need four on the right. So how many waters would I add? If I need four oxygens, I need to add four H2Os. So four H2O. And now that step is balanced. Check. Now I got to balance the hydrogen by adding H plus. And it's the same exact idea here. For every one hydrogen that you need, you need to add one H plus. So two hydrogen, two H plus. Three hydrogen, three H plus. Let's see. I have no hydrogen on this side, but on my reactant, on my product side now, I have an H. There's two of them. But there's four. Maybe I should make bring this in a little bit closer. Okay. So how many total hydrogens do I have? I have eight on this side, right? Four times two is eight. I have none on this side. So if I need to add eight hydrogen, I need to say plus eight. H plus. And that's done for four. We're at the final steps, guys. Now all we got to do is we got to balance the charges. And we balance the charges by adding electrons, which are E negative. And we're always going to add electrons to the more positive side. So what I like to do at this stage is I like to break up my left and my right side. You need to get the total charge on the reactant side, and you need to get the total charge on the product side. And then you're going to just balance the charges. Now, you don't have to get the charges for every individual element. For here, we're just looking in that upper right-hand corner to see what the charge is. So for example, we'll work from left to right. We have an H plus, right? And if you don't see a number, right, that's a plus one. But I have eight of these. 
So eight times a plus one, I have an overall charge of plus eight coming from my hydrogen. What's my overall charge for MnO4? Well, I'm looking in that upper right-hand corner. I see a negative. So if I don't see a number, it's a negative one. How many MnO4s do I have? I only have one, right? There's no number here. So it would just be a negative one. And now since these two compounds are coming together, they're being added, I will add these two numbers together. So an eight plus a negative one, AKA a eight minus one is a plus seven. I like to put the charges, like I won't just say seven, I'll say plus seven, just to emphasize, you know, whether I'm positive or negative. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the product side. I see that I have a two plus charge here and I only have one, right? There's no number here, so it's just a one. So this part would be a plus two. But now for water, I don't see a charge in the upper right hand corner. So what number is that? Oh, it's a zero. It's neither positive nor negative. It's a zero charge. So I don't care how many I have, right? Any number times zero is zero. So four times zero in this case, that's just zero. So this plus this, so plus two plus zero, I get a total of a plus two. And I'm just gonna highlight that. And now I look at the overall charges. I'm going to add the electrons to the more positive side. Out of a plus seven or a plus two, if you think of it as a number line, which side is more positive? The plus seven. So I know that I have to add my electrons on this side, right? Because it's the plus seven side. But now the question is, how many electrons do I add? Well, you add as many as you need to get to the other number. So on a number line, if you think of seven, and I need to go all the way to two, that's five numbers away, right? Five, six, uh, five. <laughs> seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What, what am I doing? <laughs> just like muscle memory, right? If here is a five and here's a two, you would have to go to the six, the five, the four, the three, and the two, right? So that's six num uh, that's five bunny hops, right? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna just have to add five electrons. There you go. And then both of the sides would be a plus two charge. And that's it. So your final answer would be five E plus, E negative, right? Plus 8H plus, plus your MnO4 minus, and that's aqueous, yields Mn2 plus aqueous, and then plus 4H2O. And that's it. Guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought, just so that I know if I'm making this as easy as possible for you guys. All right, I love talking to you guys, and I love hearing how you guys are doing in your class, all right? So like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want. Let's keep learning. Uh, you know, and chem is fun. It's, it's just puzzles, right? And I'll be here helping you every step of the way. See you guys in the next lesson. Bye-bye.